When the doctor failed to return with the coffee, Clara returned to her teaching duties. Mr. Armitage introduced her to a new maths teacher, Danny Pink, and following an awkward conversation, asked each other out. Clara returned to her office and found the doctor with the coffee. The doctor told her he needed her help and brought her aboard the TARDIS. He asked her if he was a good man, but she told him she didn't know. Clara and the doctor joined a team to be shrunk and deposited into a malfunctioning Dalek called Rusty. The shrunken doctor and Clara entered Rusty through its eye stock in order to determine how it became good and attempt to repair the Dalek so that it could help the efforts of the resistance. When the doctor's repairing of Rusty caused it to kill several of the Aristotle soldiers, Clara entered the Dalek's memory banks and allowed the doctor to link minds with it, causing it to turn against its kind and order a nearby Dalek ship to retreat. After this, Clara and the doctor returned to their normal size. The doctor then returned Clara to Coal Hill School, again asking if he was a good man. Again she admitted she didn't know but pointed out that he tried to be, which was what really counted. Back at Coal Hill, she met up with Danny again, agreeing to go on a date with him and insisting she had nothing against soldiers. Clara later gave the doctor some chips who proceeded to ramble about how great they tasted. In return, the doctor attempted to get a reservation at a restaurant on Calbaran 3 in 5083, only to learn that there was a three-year wait. They booked and went three years to the future, only to learn the restaurant was closed to celebrate the third anniversary of the overthrowing of the tyrannical Emperor Vimlox. After briefly returning to 5083, and seeing their future selves enjoying a meal, the two made for 5080 to make a reservation. Before they left, the doctor found that the tyrannical emperor had scratched his TARDIS and promptly overthrew him, resulting in the anniversary. The doctor repaired the scratch on the TARDIS, but found that the damage had caused time within the TARDIS to temporarily run backwards, much to Clara's annoyance when she tried to converse with him. The doctor later used his uncertainty about what sort of person he was to have Clara do various chores around the TARDIS, though she stopped indulging him after he forced her to take out the trash. The doctor offered Clara the choice of their next visit. She requested to meet Robin Hood, having grown up reading the stories about him, despite the doctor's insistence that he was a fictional character. They arrived in Sherwood Forest, to indeed find Robin Hood, but the doctor refused to believe he was real. Following an archery contest, the doctor, Clara and Robin were captured by the Sheriff of Nottingham and his robot knights, and taken to his castle, which was actually a spaceship. The doctor and Robin argued in the cell, leading the guard to believe Clara was the most responsible and mature one of the three, and therefore their leader, so he took her out to the sheriff. Clara tricked the sheriff into revealing to her his plans to take over the kingdom. The sheriff also revealed that he planned to make Clara his consort, and attempted to kiss her, which she avoided. She then warned the sheriff that he'd regret that, if he tried again. She managed to escape with Robin, who brought her to his campsite and demanded he tell her what the doctor knew about the Robin Hood legends, though she ended up telling them about the doctor's life as well, having been unable to stop once she started. They returned to the castle in the middle of a revolt led by the doctor, where Robin defeated the sheriff in a battle. Clara, the doctor and Robin then teamed up to launch a golden arrow to allow the ship to fly into space. Clara and the doctor farewelled Robin and set off on more adventures. Clara went on a date with Danny, but some miscommunication caused her to storm off. Returning home, Clara met the doctor, who convinced her to help him learn if there was a creature that can perfectly hide. He believed this to be why people talk out loud when alone. Using the telepathic circuits, Clara accidentally landed the TARDIS at the West Country Children's Home in the 1990s when a call from Danny distracted her. Clara and a young boy called Rupert Pink, who was a younger version of Danny, and they encountered a mysterious figure hidden by a bedsheet sitting on Rupert's bed. The doctor, Clara and Rupert turned away from the figure as it left Rupert's bedroom, and they were unable to find out if it was a creature or a child playing a prank. Clara asked the doctor to take her back to the moment she left Danny, so she could attempt patching things up. However, not only did she mess things up, but the doctor called her back to the TARDIS, where she met Orson Pink, who came from 100 years later in Clara's timeline. Orson was a time traveler who had been trapped at the end of time, where the doctor's theory seemed possible, as something wanted in. However, the doctor was knocked out when the door opened and the oxygen field collapsed. Clara piloted the TARDIS via the telepathic circuits, 
accidentally landing in the doctor's own childhood. Hiding under his bed, Clara convinced the young first doctor it was a dream. Fear, she told him, can make one kind instead of cruel and cowardly, and a day would come when he was the most afraid. Inside the TARDIS, Orson asked the doctor what was outside Orson's ship, but Clara entered and asked the doctor what if there was nothing behind the door, or under everyone's beds, and, what if the big bad time lord doesn't want to admit he's just afraid of the dark. Clara made the doctor promise to leave and never find out where they had landed. She returned to the 21st century where she decided to make her relationship with Danny a romantic one. She leaned in and kissed Danny, allowing both of them to overcome their separate fears of becoming a couple.